Times have drastically changed and you guys have a really hard time accepting this. The days of chivalry are pretty much gone. I hate the fact that I have to constantly explain this, but you guys are way too tied to an ideology that does not exist anymore. The ideology of you chasing a woman and then asking her to be your girlfriend. These days are way behind us guys and I'll explain why. The first reason is women have changed. Social media has completely changed how we interact as people. This is especially true when it comes to dating. 30 years ago, if you wanted attention as a girl, you had to get dressed and force yourself to go out. You couldn't just sit at home and farm attention. You had to put your best foot forward and force yourself to go out if you wanted any chance of meeting a guy. The truth is, guys, girls don't have any urgency to meet guys anymore. The main reason for this is the perception of abundance. A girl in 2024 has so many different ways to get attention from guys without even lifting a finger. All of this is done through her phone. Social media, hundreds of dating apps, OnlyFans, you get the point. She can post a picture of herself on the couch in sweatpants and you thirsty guys are still gonna DM her anyways. It doesn't require any effort for them anymore. This is why I keep telling you, the game has completely changed. You asking her to be your girlfriend and is not special or unique and doesn't carry the same weight as it did in the past. The main reason for this is because there already is so many guys trying to get her to be their girlfriend. I've seen it with my own eyes, guys. Even an average girl has so many DMs sitting in the inbox. This is even more prevalent if they have tons of followers and if their social media is public. Add in a couple revealing pictures and you finish off the deal. Because girls lack any urgency to date you whatsoever, you have to change your approach. And no, don't listen to your mom who's telling you to just be nice. If your dad wasn't so whipped by your mom, there might be a chance he would tell you the truth. Because he he's unable to do so, I'm going to tell you the truth. Don't ask a girl to be your girlfriend. I know it seems harsh and counterintuitive, but bear with me. What other way do you have to stand out and know if a girl truly likes you or is just using you for attention? The only exception to this is if you really want to be a placeholder. If your goal is to be submissive to a girl and serve her and do whatever she wants, don't listen to this advice. But if you are one of the few guys that actually wants to have a girl that respects him and loves him for who he is, you must follow this. Let her be the one to ask the question of what you guys are. Your primary focus should be to maintain a masculine perception. You do this by not over texting, by not constantly talking about emotions, never seeking her validation, and ultimately being playful and making sure that you guys have fun when you hang out on your dates. This is all you have to care about. When it comes to being masculine, it's not about being emotional, it's about the opposite. If she's in her feminine around you, it means that she likes you and respects you. When she's in that state of mind, she will be the one to want to ask those types of questions. What are we? Is this a situationship? Do you like me like that? Do you think I'm pretty? These are all different forms of the same question. She is trying to get validation from you. Essentially, she's chasing you. This is the ideal position to be in as a guy in 2024 if you're looking for genuine desire. Every girl is going to tell you this isn't true, including your mom and your sister. The problem is we always have to focus on what people do, not what they say. People will always preach what's comfortable and socially acceptable not necessarily the truth. The truth, oftentimes, can seem extremely unflattering, especially in 2024. Everyone's constantly trying to confuse you with different perspectives so you don't know what to believe. Ultimately, people believe in things that give them the greatest benefit, not necessarily what's objectively true or good. A perfect example of this is how people vote. People won't vote for what's good for society. They'll vote on the basis of what's good for them and their benefit. This is why in 2024, you have to be extra skeptical of what people tell you. Too many of you guys look at things way too surface level. This is especially true when it comes to what people People will tell you about modern dating. It's for this exact reason that I developed an entire community for you guys to learn all about this. In there, I'll also teach you how to make money online, how to dress well, and how to improve your fitness. Essentially, it's the secret place you can join that encourages objective reality, not subjective opinions. For the tiny minority of you that genuinely want to improve, don't forget to click the link in the description below. To cap off this video, guys, I want to say this. Are you guys going to believe the fisherman or the fish? No woman will ever give you the secret to how she will get caught. Unless, of course, she's obsessed with you. In that case, she may give you some hints. I mean, to be honest, even most guys these days are completely delusional. Just make sure you're skeptical about what you hear, even from me. That's the end of this video, guys. If you want more content like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to comment with any questions or video ideas you have. I'll see you guys next time.